after Financial Secretary Paul Chan delivered the budget on Wednesday. Government bureaus have been explaining key policies and measures to the public. Paul Chan announced that the waste charging scheme, which starts in August, will bring $1.79 billion to the Treasury. Secretary for Environment and Ecology Zhe Chin Wen today stressed the purpose of the scheme is not to increase government revenue. Memo Sengai reports. In his budget address, Financial Secretary Paul Chen said the upcoming implementation of the waste charging scheme will bring $1.79 billion to the Treasury. The government had earlier said it was spent between $800 million and $1 billion in promoting the waste charging scheme, adding the cost of promoting waste recycling and the government revenue received from the scheme will be roughly the same. However, the latest prediction of $1.79 billion are at least 80% higher than the previous estimation. The government well has conducted a survey about well, uh, the uh, residential and the commercial sectors well, uh, usage of well, uh, the designated bags and estimate that about half of the well, population well, we use the designated bags. Well, uh, that is not too optimistic nor pessimistic. And the government has pledged it before that well, uh, the purpose of waste charging is not to generate revenue by itself. They added the government has already spent $900 million in waste reduction and promotion of waste recycling. As for the money that we have used in the past financial year, we have used the money on um, promoting recycling of plastic waste. We have also promoted uh, the collection of food waste as well as collection of uh, paper waste. On Wednesday, the government also announced the first registration tax concessions for electric cars will be extended by two years, but with a 40 percent reduction starting from April. The Environment Secretary said such a policy is not unique to the city and will not decrease the appetite of residents for buying electric vehicles, as they will be able to save a lot of money in fuel costs. News 9, TVB News.